Let's talk about Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. G'day to all you lovely people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy, and today I wanted to feature another two favourite fantasy authors of mine who are a little dated now but perhaps some of you haven't heard of them and that is Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. They collaborated together for many many years dating back to the 80s I think. I don't think they're collaborating anymore though which I think is a shame because I really always enjoyed their books. Several of their series were some of my favourites from back in the 90s when I started reading fantasy. And I'm hoping that perhaps I might inspire you to pick up some of their books and have a look and see if you find them enjoyable or not. I think how they started collaborating is they were both working with a publisher who was looking to bring out some novels and modules for Dungeons and Dragons. And they started writing novels in the Forgotten Realms universe I think it is called. Predominantly dealing with dwarves, elves and humans of course. I have been trying for many years to figure out which parts are written by Margaret Weiss and which are written by Tracy Hickman and I honestly can't tell. I think their collaboration is seamless. I really don't know who writes which parts in the books. What I do like about their writing is that there's a lot of humour, they're very well written, as in their language use is excellent, they can convey so much with very little actually, they don't tend to over explain things, which some authors do. In fact, the book I'm reading at the moment, I'm getting a little tired of having everything explained to me. I think leave some to the imagination of your readers, allow us to decide whether a character is for example a good guy or a bad guy or something in between. I don't need to be told everything in a book. Part of it is also our interpretation, right? And even though this is a complaint of mine with certain books, I cannot say that about the writings of Weiss and Hickman. I think they're good writers actually both separately and obviously together. I like their style. It's very clean, very well written, just enough description without overwhelming you with too much detail or feeling like, okay, when are we going to get to the good parts? And they're very good with the dialogue as well. I'll confess, the Dragonland series are not really my favorites. I've read some of them, but not all of them. One of the first series I read is the Dark Sword Trilogy. And I have no recollection of it, <laughs> which to me indicates it cannot have been one that I absolutely loved. I read it many, many years ago, close to 30 years ago, I think. And it never appealed to me that much because it seemed very typical traditional fantasy, high fantasy with dwarves, with elves, and things like that. This is the first book in the series, Forging the Dark Sword. The next one I read is the Rose of the Prophet series, and this is the first book, which is The Will of the Wanderer. I like this one a lot more than the Dragonlands or Forgotten Realm series. What I liked about it is that it seemed to have an Arabic influence. I like this world where there were many gods who were starting to abandon the world, except for one who decided to seize more power for themselves. And of course, humans are gathering together to try to stop him. I liked a lot of the cultural references that they created in this series, though it was very reminiscent of the Arabian Nights. I'm not going to say it's the best series I ever read, but it was a very enjoyable one. And this was also a trilogy. I think at this point they were doing a lot of trilogies. Now this next series, Margaret Weiss wrote on her own, and that is the Star of the Guardians series, which is four books. Apparently after finishing the third, she realized she hadn't 
finalized somebody else's storyline so she went off and wrote the fourth book this one is not so much fantasy as much as space opera reminiscent of star wars of course that kind of thing there is a young man who is looking to find his destiny there was a rebellion overthrowing of the dynasty that was in control but one of my favorite things about this series is not the main character Dion who sometimes I found boring I really loved the secondary characters Sagan and Magri I don't know how to pronounce that but that's how I pronounce it their story was interesting they were much more compelling to read than the main character in my opinion one thing I really do love about this series is that Wes and Hickman were very good at taking questionable characters, I'm not going to call them villains, but perhaps villainous, and give us a much better, deeper understanding of why they behaved a certain way and that perhaps they're not as villainous as we thought. Perhaps they were simply misguided, misled, betrayed, whatever the reasons. I love the way they can redeem a character who sometimes I really despise at the beginning. That doesn't happen very often and if it does it's not always done well. I think it was done really well in this series and in another series of theirs. The next series I wanted to talk about is The Death Gate Cycle. This is my favourite of all their books, definitely. This is a seven novel series. It is, I guess, epic in scale. High fantasy again, but there are just so many things I love about this series, particularly some of the characters. I'm not going to discuss this one too much because I'm intending to review it in the near future. I just reread it actually after many, many years and I wanted to talk about it on my channel. Other books that they've written include this, the Star Shield series. Star Shield Sentinel, actually. This was meant to be a trilogy, and for some reason they had a falling out with the publishers, and the third book never got written, which is very frustrating. <laughs> I actually really like the concept of this. This one is also more space opera rather than fantasy. The blurb is that it is about quantum weather, which basically means that the physical laws of nature differ depending upon where you are in the universe. I thought that was a fascinating idea, even though I am not really a science fiction reader. But it is extremely frustrating that the series isn't finished. And the last series I wanted to talk about is the Sovereign Stone Trilogy. This series is more fantasy based. But what I like about it, I think it was the second book in this series, is you get to view the world through the villain's perspective. It doesn't always redeem them in my eyes, but at least it gives me a completely different view. We often read fantasy and only hear the good guy's view. We only get to see their perspective. Or we are given a very superficial understanding of what drives, say, the villain in the piece. And that is what I really enjoyed about this series. Of course, I have written a lot more books than that. But these are the ones that I have read and which made me love their books. I think back in the 80s and 90s and even 2000s, Weiss and Hickman were writing some of the best fantasy around. Now you might find some of them dated, but others I think stand the test of time. I haven't reread everything, but I have read several of the series more than once. The Death Gate Cycle just recently, which I loved as I did the first time, though I notice it feels a little bit more dated now than it did when I read it the last time, which was perhaps 15 years ago. It doesn't take away my enjoyment of their stories, of some of their characters. 
I highly recommend Margaret West and Tracy Hickman if you haven't tried her, particularly if you would like to read something that is a little different to the current very grim kind of realism that you see in fantasy today. Not that there aren't some horrible things that occur in their books and I think in some respects you can't always predict if everyone is going to survive in their books which is more than you can say for some other fantasy where it seems nothing bad ever happens to our favorite characters and I highly recommend them if you haven't tried the Weiss and Hickman books particularly the Deathgate Cycle the Star of the Guardians and the Rose of the Prophet series. For a score, hmm, I'm not actually going to score the actual books themselves, especially as some I haven't read in many years, but for an overall score in relation to the authors themselves, I would give them a 7 out of 10. I think they both have real talent and I really do enjoy reading their books. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you have read Weiss and Hickman and what your thoughts are on their books. You know, I would love to hear your opinions. And you can let me know down in the comments or you can contact me on Instagram. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then you can do the usual. You can like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye.